what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today i am in a bmw m3 white on red my favorite color combo i love this when i was looking into maybe getting a corvette i wanted a white or red interior but this car looks so good it's like a pearl white red interior and then he put some nice uh titan 7 wheels on it it looks badass the owner is luis Con city city m3 i'm gonna put the instagram here so you can follow him this car is like super nice he doesn't have any pictures up yet with the new wheels though so you'll probably see him here first on the video if you haven't seen it in person but uh i met luis and then in one of the cars and coffees and cruising around and stuff and we got together and uh him and ricky they have a i mean him and ricky are here local but they got juni and other people and other friends like somewhere else but they have a they have a podcast called rpm addiction and it's a podcast it's in spanish so if you know how to speak spanish and you love like you know car talk and bsing you definitely want to listen that up because it's funny to my Camaro and watching it that makes it he's doing it on purpose to do the pops <laughs> I haven't even listened to the music because I've just been driving and I had the windows down because I was listening to my Camaro because he's driving it and he's been doing the pops and all that so it's been pretty cool to watch my car and feel the performance of this car so we'll jump right into him driving and me over there and talking more about this BMW so back in the car passenger seat this is Luis City. I already put the Instagram up so you can check him out. It'll be in the description too. So uh, put him on the driver's seat. It's his car. He can push it way more than I can. So uh, we just did a little draggy test to see. And uh, he had already done one a little bit earlier and it did uh, 11, 11 or 11 1. Uh, I think 11 1. Yeah. 11 1. So it did 11.1. So it's pretty good. This is his first time trying it out. So after a couple of times you get a little bit better, like when I did the Camaro, I did 11.3, then 11.2, then a 10.9. You just gotta kind of figure out what's the sweet spot to take out and all that. But uh, we just did another one and did 11.5. Of course, I'm in the car. And then it's a little hefty around here, so we have to maneuver around. But uh, yeah, oh, well, I'll let him have it for a little bit and have some fun and maybe we'll get some more data down the line. But anyways, back to the car. So I mentioned, I said it was white and then I said pearl white, but it has a different name, right? Yeah, the name is uh, mineral white. What is it? Mineral white. Mineral white? Yeah. Okay, there you but go. But it's basically the same thing, I mean, the, the, basically the same distinction between just the regular white, which is alpine white, and the pearl white, pretty much. Okay. So that's, I think that's BMW's way of saying pearl, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so it has like, you know, it's pearl white, pretty much, I guess. I saw the Corvette next to uh, Ricky. Ricky's driving the Camaro and there was a Corvette next to him and I was like, uh oh. Right now we're trying to catch up to a uh, Corvette that took off. And uh, yeah, we're coming up on it. So about to find out. Cut real All right, the vet didn't want the cap and it was a Stingray. So let's go back and let's see. So modifications. I know it's stock uh, motor, and but you did mid pipes. Yeah, I did a mid pipe because uh, actually these F80s, people, all people, you can ask any F80 owner, and they'll tell you that the sound is horrible. You know, it, it sounds like a four-cylinder straight pipe, and you know, simply awful. So they, they this company, uh, Active Auto Works, they are actually here in Florida. They develop this. Uh, they call it the equal length mid pipe. Which pretty much uh, one of the one of the since there's two downpipes, it's a, it's a dual. One of them they added more curves, so it, the length ultimately will be equal for both. So now now actually the, the car sounds like a single turbo instead of a twin turbo one. It sounds good. I listened to the cold start at the house. I didn't record it. Sorry. But...
before to record in, like when we did the video for the Camaro. I saw him coming in the garage and stuff, and I heard how loud it was and all that. I can't remember the sound too much, but listen to it now when he did the cold start, and then when he drove around a little better, it sounds better. It's like, like he says, like a little bit more like the Supra, the new Supra kind of sound. Mm -hmm. like, exactly, yeah. And that's just that's just mid fight only, right? Everything else is oh, stock. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, so we got the car, got the mid fight, and he got some new wheels. Like I mentioned earlier, he doesn't have him on Instagram yet. He's waiting to get good pictures. You're gonna see it on they'll the video come, here. Yeah, they'll come, yeah. And they're, uh, you said Titan, Titan 7? Yeah, Titan right? 7 Forge, uh, lightweight. They are, uh, I think, like 20 pounds or 20 or 20, 20 on the front and 21 on the, on the rear, front, something like that. I definitely felt the difference. I mean, actually, I was, I came from a 20 inch wheel, which was a uh, flow form, and they were heavy, like, really, yeah. they're really heavy. So when I switched to this one, I, like, uh, it was like a, it was pretty much like I tuned the car. You know, I, What's I really. What's the size felt, on these? And this and these are 19s. The 19s by the front and the back. Uh, nine and a half front and ten and a half rear. And a half ten and a half. Yeah. yeah. It looks really nice. I like it. I approve. <laughs> and uh, the other part too is, uh, as you've seen, the car has um, little carbon fibers, like add-ons, like a, a body kit, if you would say, because it goes, it's all the way around. It's not just a, the lip or the balance. It's like it's all the way around. It makes the car look pretty nice. Really nice. I like. I just. I like. How it's a sedan, but it looks like so sporty. I mentioned that you've seen Louis before at the different crews and at the track. And like I said, he just did a 60 to 130 and it was 11 1. And I've done 60 to 130s, and that's pretty close to the same. So we've raced before a couple times. Uh, last time he came to the track, you saw him in the video. That was his first time at the track, and he did pretty good. He started in the 12. Threes, right? Yeah, it's 12, yeah I, I did the first 12.2 all, all automatic, then I put everything in manual 12.1, and I was like, well, I mean, pretty decent. So then I tried it, the launch control, and for some reason the launch control sucked, and I did the uh, 12.3. Okay, well, never mind. So 12.2, 12.1, 12.3. See, that's the thing with the track, like if you go, yeah, and you when you try the different, you gotta, the first time, you gotta kind of figure out what, what what's good for your car so you try to change bits and bits here and there to see how much better it does mm -hmm. but that night that I went to the track I was running uh, I was running the same I was like 12-3 12-3 and I think I ran a 12-2 and then another 12-3 or 12-3 12-3 and 12-2 somewhere in there and then we I saw we were in the same but then we end up racing at the end of the night and uh, as you know, turbos are very fond of cooler weather. So we take off and I'm thinking, you know, we're pretty paired up and definitely not. If you've seen that race, <laughs> go check it out. I mean, if you haven't, go check it out. And if you've seen it, then you know what happened. You know, it's, he ran an 11.9, you know, at the end of the night. The car definitely picked up way more. Did you change anything at the end? I probably talked about it, I don't remember. Like you just kind of did, the, you were just on the paddles launch and then on the paddles. Yeah, pretty much exactly everything manual. So just like the 12.1 12, 12 that I did, yeah. it's exactly the same technique. Yeah, everything just, manual, and me and my, by, by myself, you know, hitting the paddles. Yeah, just as, at that, at, as that night went and it got a little bit cooler, it's just, you know, turbos enjoy when it gets cooler. But yeah, so... But it was fun, I mean, because actually, you know, Javi departed first, I mean. <laughs> and I saw yeah. him, I was like, oh shit, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose. Yeah. But all of a sudden, you know, little by little, yeah, he came I catch from him, behind. Yeah. yeah, I've been holding out to that for a little bit, but <laughs> someday he'll get back to the track. But within the cruise, if you saw one of our other videos when we cruised to Tampa, right? Yeah. We went to Tampa and we got a little roll in, and then uh, I, I think I got the jump on that roll in. We kind of stayed pretty steady. It wasn't. I think I moved a little bit forward, and then he was coming back towards the end, but we ran out of road. So now that they're doing. Uh, Thursdays at the track and they're doing rolls. Maybe we can go one day do a dig in a row and mm -hmm. break the tie someday. <laughs> yeah, so we're one and one. Someday we'll get rid of that. <laughs> All right. So suspension. You mentioned coilovers, right? <clears throat> yeah. So I bought this kit uh, from KW, which is not like like a full coilover kit. It's pretty much springs, but they added this uh, part to the shock absorber that you can actually adjust the height pretty much. Okay. All right, so it's not a full kit, it's just like a height adjustment. So that way exactly. when you swap wheels and stuff like that, you can be like, all right, any higher, any lower. Exactly, exactly. And it came very handy because every time that I changed wheels, I mean, I had to adjust it. So, so 
with that gap, you know, it's minimized pretty much. So it's good. I mean, and the good thing also that, that it, it doesn't mess with the with the damping control. Yeah. Much. So why BMW M3? Yeah. So I mean, I guess since uh, the E46 chassis came out uh, in the year 2000, 2006. I wanted that car. I mean, I was like, you know, I just fell in love with that car, to be honest. That, especially in the Laguna Seca blue color. It was, I mean, it, for me, it was just amazing. It was a coupe. Uh, coupe. But, I mean, for, I mean, of course, at that time, I was studying and I was a student, so I didn't have, the, you know, that much money. Eventually, now, the economy, you know, came up better. And now they have the F80 platform. So I was like, you know, why not? You know, it's a, it's a sedan. It's comfortable. It's, you know, it's not super fast, but it's not super slow. I mean, like, like we were talking about, I mean, I did 11.9, very, very first time that I went. So, I mean, yep. I, so it's, it's, a, it's a decent car, you know, I like the way that it drives. I spent like, actually like maybe six months actually looking for this combination. I was going to say that, I remember you said you spent quite, a, quite yeah, some time I wanted, looking like, for this specific spec. Yeah, exactly, exactly, until I finally found it in Miami. So, yeah, I mean, it was the car that, I mean, kind of, kind of the drink car, you know, affordable drink car to be yeah. honest, you know, something like that. So, I, I, mean, I just like it. White, red, I love white and red. I wish my car had red inside in the Recaro's. Like, I think the Z01 has red stitching and I don't, but I mm -hmm. want it. Yeah, red, uh, I like, I like it. I like the red. I like white out, outside and red inside. I love it. Even when we were uh, taking video earlier and uh, you had the windows rolled down, I like how from far you see the car white, black accents but you can see the red through like all the windows yeah, and everything it pops, it pops, yeah. yeah it looks really good looks really good i like it so yeah here you have it bmw m3 i approve you know luxurious sportiness it's got the space it's got everything he needs right now mm -hmm. it's quick it's quick you know it's quick it moves Let us know. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you uh, all later. Peace.